athletes. It's Friday, October 14th, and it's College Fair Day. The College Fair is it, a chance for all 10th, 11th, and 12th graders to speak with representatives from various colleges throughout the region and state. They are here to answer your questions. This is a time to visit the colleges you never heard of or haven't considered applying to. Use the College Fair information sheet that was handed out to you yesterday to look for colleges that are in your GPA and SAT range and talk to them to see what else they have to offer. The guidance counselors will also be there to assist you with any questions you may have. The cybersecurity team will meet today after school in room 206. Tomorrow is the last day to apply for the Freesome Fund Scholarship, which is available to African American seniors with a GPA of 3.0 or higher. Go to Naviance by tomorrow to apply. The Pro Girl Collective will be selling pink merchandise during lunch to raise money for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Come to their table during lunch to show your support and get ready to pink out at the football game tonight. If you volunteer to assist with the Corollary Tennis Tournament, please attend the organizational meeting on Monday at 2.45 in room 110. There will be a softball meeting on Monday after school in room 262 for anyone interested in playing softball this upcoming season. If you're unable to make the meeting, please see Coach Ofanowski. The preseason wrestling meeting is Tuesday after school in room 260. Anyone interested in wrestling, filming matches, keeping stats, or working with the wrestling team in any way, should attend. If you are having trouble accessing the internet on your laptop due to the light speed login, here's the fix. To apply the fix, close all open programs and log in as a student. In the Novo apps, find the browser crash fix and run it. Now restart your computer and log back in, it should work. I restarted my laptop, now I'm going to go to Firefox and check it out. Clean like a whistle. The diaper drive is going on now until November 3rd. Canal High School is hosting a diaper drive to help families in Queen Anne's County. Diapers and wipes will be distributed to families in need of QAC Make a Difference Day on November 5th, 2016. <laughs> we need diaper sizes 4 and 5 and baby wipes. You can drop everything off at the Kent Island High School main office or the 9th grade annex office. All donations need to be dropped off before November 3rd. The KI Interact Club is competing with the QA Interact Club. We need these donations. Let's go, Bugs. The PSATs? Is that how you pronounce it? No, it's PSAT. Oh. The PSATs are next Wednesday. Here's a practice question for Miss Jane to get you going. Good morning, Kent Island High School. Please turn your PSAT practice books to page 46 and follow along with Miss Jane as she solves problem 12. If you don't have your PSAT practice books, please grab a piece of scratch paper. We are taking a look at problem number 12. It is x squared y cubed all raised to the half power times x squared y cubed all raised to the third power. This is set equal to x to the a over 3 times y to the a over 2. We are interested in finding out what our value of a here should be. So if we take a look at this, if you remember, exponents raised to exponents, you will multiply them. So we're going to take x to the second to the half. 2 times a half gives us 1. So now we have x to the first power. y to the third to the half would give us y to the 3 halves power. We will do the same thing with the second portion here. x squared to the third, 2 times a third, gives us x to the 2 thirds. y to the third to the 1 third gives us y to the first. 
This is set at equal to x to the a over 3 times y to the a over 2. Now that our bases here are being multiplied, we add our exponents. So 1 plus 2 thirds. In order to do that, we have to convert the 1 into 3 thirds plus 2 thirds gives us x to the 5 thirds. We would do the same with the y's. y is to the first, but in order to add them, they must have common denominators. So 1 is 2 over 2. 2 halves plus 3 halves gives us 5 halves. If we line this up now, you can see that I have 5 over 3 must equal a over 3. 5 over 2 must equal a over 2. Therefore, a must have a value of 5. Hey, yo. Check your email. Your book is sending out a ton of surveys for your opinions and ideas. You have a chance to win a candy bar. So do it, yo. Last night, our undefeated boys varsity soccer team beat undefeated Easton 3 to nothing to take sole possession of first place in the North Bayside. Carter Duncan, Ryan Nags, and Blake Groves each scored. Congratulations, Bucks. Have a great weekend, K.I.